All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Those Were the Days. Yes, we are continuing Those Were the Days. We are a few episodes into All in the Family. I am sorry I haven't been posting very often. I have made a video about that and what's been going on. A lot of stuff has been going on, but I'll let you guys go and watch that video. And, uh, you know, just know that I'm continuing, but it's going to be slow. So with that being said, this episode is going to be pretty interesting. I know that I say that all the time, but this one is actually very, like, oddballed interesting. Uh, I believe it's called Edith Finds an Old Man or Edith Finds a Man or something along those lines. Uh, and it is a uh, pretty weird. Edith is a character within herself, and I mean that in a good way, but it's kind of, she's just kind of an oddball, if you will. So, yes, uh, apparently she brings home an old man, and antics ensue. So, yes, it's an interesting concept. I don't uh, remember this episode completely. I do remember bits and pieces, but not the whole thing. So, yes, I hope that you guys enjoy this episode. Again, we do not watch the entire episode. If you want to watch the entire episode, you can go over to Freebie. It is on there. That is an Amazon, uh, you know, co-owned Amazon channel. They have other shows on there as well, but you can watch as of right now. Uh, I believe all of the episodes, uh, besides like the one band one that I can't find, uh, on there as well. Uh, so you can watch the entire thing with ads. I know that what you're going to say is, well, we have ads on your channel too. One, I don't get paid for those ads. And two, uh, that's, I guess, fair because it's YouTube's thing. But if you guys haven't subscribed, you can help me out with that first one, uh, go ahead and hit the little subscribe button because I need a thousand subscribers and so many watch hours to become monetized and make this an actual job. So if you guys would like, we are very close to the 500 mark, which we can have a few perks like super thanks, super chats, and stickers, uh, things along those lines. If you guys want those things, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dog. Tell your dog's mom, whoever can have access to a YouTube channel that's not on the same IP address as you, tell them to watch the channel, and that helps me out, and uh, tell them to hit that little subscribe button as well. So with that being said, this should be a very interesting and hopefully fun episode. So let's find out what's going on in the Bunker House. Here we go. Those were the Quigley. Ah, Mr. Quigley. Okay, so she's already brought in the old man. You put your suitcase down. And he has a suitcase. You don't want to get overheated and catch cold. How can you overheat and catch cold? And of course he's wearing pajamas. Nice pajamas. Right. Would you believe they're 11 years old? Yep, I would believe that. Give them to me on my 71st birthday. Well, okay. That makes you old. True, that makes him old. You should see me after I slap on the old aftershave lotion and the alcohol tightens everything up. <laughs> okay, okay. That was funny. And it's Michael the Meathead. Who, uh... My daughter. I'm calling her up. Okay. Oh, hi, Mike. I see you met Mr. Quigley. Not really. Yeah, almost. Yeah, right? Almost. Let me tell you something about daughters. Okay. But you can't make them pick up the phone when they ain't home. Well, if they ain't home, how can they pick up the phone? Well, uh, she don't want to hear from me anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sure you're wrong. Now, I don't know why, but, you know... Uh, yeah, I'll help you, Ma. And of course, Michael has to interrogate and figure out who the old guy is. Michael! He's in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Gloria is confused, too. I would tell you you're cute. Yes, but... Okay, yeah, sure. But I... Let me tell you something about men. Okay. A lot of them do, lot of them do pretty well with the women. 
Right. But the Iceman always has his pick. Wow. Okay. Mom! Why is this old guy hitting on me? Mom! Yeah, I'd run to the kitchen too. It's Quigley, and Ma found him walking around the street in his pajamas because he was going to take a nap. Okay. Michael, that doesn't make any sense. Weird, but okay. It does if you talk to Ma. That's fair. That's actually kind of fair. What was that old man doing wearing his pajamas in the street? Right. Walking up and down. See, doesn't that make sense? Right. When he sneaked away from the old folks' home. Oh, okay. Then, then how, how did you meet him? Right. Through the window at Ferguson's Market. Okay. The woman in front of me on the checkout line was... Right. ...sent coupon from yesterday's paper was still good today. Okay. She was busy with the children yesterday and she didn't get a chance to read the paper. Okay. And? Turned to me and she says, don't you think I should have seven cents off? No. I just smiled and looked out the window and then I saw Mr. Quigley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know why you can't follow a simple story. Right. Is that the whole story? No! No. <laughs> there was Mr. Quigley again, looking lost. Right. Oh, so you invited him to stay here. Okay. Yeah, until he gets in touch with his daughter. Right. You know, I had a wife once. Okay. He never opened her mouth till after that first cup of coffee. Right. I used to hide the coffee on her. <laughs> wow. Okay. See, you could tell that joke back in the day. Oh, what a lousy day I had. Oh, boy. It's always a lousy day with Archie. Probably something to do with the subway, like always, right? I want to tell you, I just wore out. Okay. You know, I ain't as young as I used to be. Right. Okay, I know. What do you mean, you know? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Can I tell you my surprise now? I think it just walked in the door. You know, I think I can guess. Right. You mean like 20 questions? No, I won't need that many. I think I could do it in three. Right. Is it bigger than a bread box? Right. Then it can only be one thing. Okay. An old man in pajamas much <laughs> not a cook. Mm, true. <laughs> Eat his face. How did you know that? He's standing over there. Right. I bet you knew it all the time. Kind of. Kind of a good hint, though. Good way to know you there, Pop. Uh, uh, get, it. get over here. Right. What'd you do? Bring an old man home to take a nap? <laughs> I brought him in so he could make a phone call. You okay. You take some man out of bed to bring him to my house to play <laughs> Right, doesn't make sense. This well, like, way, all, right, all right, eat it, I'll find out myself. Right, we've already heard the story. I'd like to get the story before the first of the month. Right. <laughs> How come you're all dressed for Betty boys? Right. Well, at my age, you never know when a nap's going to come over you. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I was wearing these when I broke out. Right. When you broke out? Right. We, we, we ran away from an old folks retirement home. Oh, okay. How did you do that? Right. You ever been in an old folks home? Yeah, I used to visit my Uncle Roy in one of them. Okay. Pretty soft there. Yeah? He had three squares a day, all the television he wanted. Right. Bingo every Tuesday. Sure. Suppose you don't want to play bingo every Tuesday. Fair. Did they force you to play bingo? <laughs> no. They force you to play bingo? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> What's the matter with the home? Right. You see that wart? The wart, yeah. Okay. You know, you know what it's good for? No. Nothing. Right. And that's, you... and that's how you feel when you're in old folks' home. Good yeah, okay. Good for nothing and useless. Well, Fair. Sure. Free cut, you want you just leave and get a place of your own. Fair. Finding an apartment when all you got to live on is 180 bucks a month. Right. You'll see. How long you got before you'll be 65? Fair. The time there, I ain't thinking about that. They, they, want you, they, want make, they want you make a phone call. Right. Archie doesn't like thinking about getting old. Spent over $27 on two little bags of groceries. Right. 
Oh, no, that cash register must have been on the blink. It's called the economy going up. That's right, 27.52. Okay, he's good at math. I'll tell you what this is here, a uh, check into that meter. <laughs> Plenty of people who can add fast. True. Which I mean, at this age, yeah, your head don't click like that. Mm, not really. What makes you so good at arithmetic? I used to be a bookkeeper. Right. They got all kinds of medicines to keep us living longer and longer. Okay. Now they got us living longer. Right. They don't know what to do with us. True. Do you know your daughter's phone number? Five 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 seven two four three. Okay. Five 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 numbers don't exist. Just so you guys know, those are TV and movie numbers. Any daughter be glad to know where her father is. I mean, right. My name is Archie Bunker, and I got good news for you. Okay. Uh, I got your father here with me. Right. No, 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 no. This ain't the home. No, he crashed out of there. <laughs> no, no, hold on. No, no. You don't want to go back there. See. Right. I, I, I don't know why. It's, it's got something to do with warts. <laughs> okay. And if you start right over here, you can get him out of here before we sit down to eat. Right. Are you sure you give me the right number here? Because, right. Because uh, this don't sound like your daughter. Okay. Did she, did she tell you to go to hell? <laughs> yeah. That's my daughter. <laughs> Wow. Lunch like this, on top of that breakfast this morning and that wonderful night's sleep. Right. You're just going to spoil me. Oh, Fair. Pleasure, Mr. Quigley. So it's been a day. Now, don't you forget to call your friend Joe. Right. I won't. Is some kind of nightmare? <laughs> yep. Some kind of nightmare. What time is it? Right. It's 12 o'clock. Wow. Clock half the day is gone. Why didn't you wake me up? Right. I'm having a nightmare. Here, don't ever let me sleep when I'm having a nightmare. Okay. She wasn't in the room. Oh, jeez. Edith, it was awful. Yeah. I was all alone someplace in the cold, you know. I, only in my pajamas. Right. And I'm stumbling along, tripping over my beard. Okay. In the dream, I got a long white beard. Right. I'm looking for Mike and Gloria's house. Okay. You mean Mike and Gloria moved into their own house? <laughs> right. Like that would ever happen. That was the only good part of the dream. <laughs> So he's Mr. Quigley. But I can't find the address because all the street signs are in Polish. <laughs> okay. Wow. Michael the Meathead is Polish, so... I heard the sound of somebody eating. Right. I said, that must be the Meathead's house. <laughs> <laughs> so I followed the munching and crunching noise right up to the door, see? Okay. And I knock on the door, and Gloria comes out. Right. She says, get away from here, old man. Go on, get out of here. No. Don't tell me she wouldn't do it. I seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> She's laughing at me there, and all of a sudden, out popped two little kids, see? What? Okay. Their kids are grandchildren, oh. see? Right. Yeah. <laughs> two little twin meatheads about six years old. <laughs> and both of them got long hair and mustache. <laughs> Wow, okay. They grabbed me by my white beard and kicked my ankles. Wow. Poor Archie, what did you do? Right. Gloria for help there. But all she done was laugh and say, get out of here. And she okay. And then he threw a net over me and they dragged me into this old building. Wow, he got thrown in the nut house. They wouldn't let me sleep. They kept me up all night playing bingo. <laughs> <laughs> He's having sympathy dreams. Did you win? <laughs> I couldn't win. They give me a card with no numbers on it. <laughs> That's life. Now, why would I dream an awful dream like that? Because of Mr. Quigley. Maybe it had something to do with Mr. Quigley. Right? That's right, because he slept under the same roof with me. Okay. Well, it's overnight right now, and I want him out. Oh, oh, but, uh, right. Maybe he will very soon. Yeah, why? Okay. Friend named Joe, he could share an apartment with. Well, well, that's nice. You see, Mr. Quigley had a fight with his friend. Right. And he didn't want to call. Ah. Okay. I said to him, must have made him change his mind. Right. I said, why don't you call Joe? <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, everything set between you and Joe? Well, if it ain't, I'll just go back to the home. Okay. I said you'd never go back there again. But you know the old proverb. Right. A bird in the hand. Oh, yeah. Can, uh -huh. get, you awful. can get you awful dirty. Right. Okay. I couldn't move that fast when I was 21. <laughs> what did you do for fun when you were 21? A lot of things I can't do now. True. Very true. Yeah, but what I like to do most was to go dancing. That's fair. Okay. Hey! 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 Interesting. Not bad. Quigley, what about the phone call? Right. It's all said. Joe's coming to pick me up. Oh, right. Could be any minute. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Or it could be a few days. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. Joe's bright. Smart as a whip. Right. But sometimes Joe kind of forgets. Okay. Joe forgets. Joe forgets. Eat it! <laughs> Archie just wants his house back. Joe may never get here unless he stops first to take a memory course. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got one free loader with me and bread's up ten cents a loaf. Right. But she don't do that. He'll be out of here pretty soon. Okay. That ain't our job. Let the government take care of him. Right. That's just it, Oz. The government's not taking care of him. Fair. Hey, yourself, the guy's got social security. Sure. Right. 180 bucks a month. Meanwhile, the official poverty level is 205 a month. Wow. Don't you see, Oz? The government is just helping old people to starve slower. True. Well, maybe when you start working and paying taxes, the government can do better. <laughs> Not yeah, fair. Guys like Quigley can barely make ends meet when they're healthy. What happens when he gets sick? Right. Don't be stupid. Ain't you never heard of Medicare? Medicaid? It's Medicare. Medicare. Okay. It only pays for 42%. The rest comes out of the old people's pockets. Right. That's something. You see by my face that I don't want to talk about it no more. They like to argue. It won't be long before we'll be in our golden years. Oh, boy. Golden years? I hate golden years. Don't talk about that no more. Right. He was going to take care of people like you and me. Didn't he push up the Social Security 5%? Wow. Right. Groceries. groceries went up 20%? True. Oh, what do you care? That's just another 20% you're eating free. Wow. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, really. Hey! Could that be your friend, Joe? I bet it is. Someone's at the door. I bet it is. I'll answer it, I'll answer it. Let's see who it is. Oh, well, welcome in his house, and your friend Joe's welcome here. Right. Hello? Hey, Joe's a woman. Uh, who are you? I'm Joe. Right. <laughs> Joanne, Josephine. Joe, you look prettier than ever. Oh, uh, and you look younger than ever. Right. I can lie just as good as you can. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to tell me this is the Joe you're planning on sharing your problem with? Right. Joe, meet my friends the Bunkers. Ah, oh, I Right. The main couple, they ain't married either, unless they are you? Right. You're gonna get married either. <laughs> if we did, there'd be no point in living together. <laughs> Your age talking about living together, I'd be ashamed of myself if I was you. Right. Maybe. You know what'll happen if Joe and I got married? Don't know. I'd lose half my social security. Oh, wow. That's the yeah, that's true. Live together, let them live together. I mean, after all, at your age, uh, what could you do? Right. True. Just whatever comes to mind. Yeah, fair. Did you hear about poor old Hazel Quinn? Uh-oh. Don't tell me she passed away. She was picked up for shoplifting and thrown into jail. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. I put a good woman like that in jail? Hey, anybody that steals deserves to be in jail. Yeah, maybe. Hazel Quinn is 78 years old and she was hungry. Okay. So she stole a, so she stole a can of tuna. All right. Chicken of the sea. <laughs> I'd like to do something to sort of make it up to you. Okay. Give you one little piece of advice. Right. One good turn gets most of the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> funny. That was funny. People expect an old man to be wise, and I didn't want to disappoint you. Right. That's good. Wait a minute. How would you two like to be new grandparents? Uh-oh. I don't think we got time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I mean, like foster grandparents for all of us. Right. Yeah, I never knew my real grandma and grandpa. Well, you wouldn't have liked them. Right. <laughs> And I'd like you to come visit us on holidays. Okay. Yeah, maybe sometimes we can go visit you. Okay. It looks like we've just been adopted. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Nice Christmas. See you next Christmas. Fair. That's far enough away to 
you know, not have to see them. Give you one more piece of advice, uh, and this is just for you, Sonny. Uh oh. Son, don't ever grow old. Right. What's that supposed to mean? You'll find out. <laughs> okay. And now he's thinking about it. And that is it. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. So, yes, this was, as I said, an interesting episode. We had Edith bring home a puppy, I mean, an old man, and he was in his PJs for some reason. We, we did get the excuse of why he was in his pajamas. He wanted to make it seem like he was about to take a nap, or maybe that he was sleepwalking, something along those lines. A uh, pretty interesting episode. Apparently his daughter doesn't like him. Uh, then we have, you know, a few things. Everyone's trying to figure out who the old guy is and then figure out how to get rid of the old guy, except for, you know, it's just Archie who wants to really get rid of the old guy. So it's a pretty interesting episode. Uh, this actor, guest star, has actually been in quite a lot of stuff. I can't really name everything that he's been in, but I have seen him in other uh, TV shows. I'm not sure about movies, but definitely TV shows I have seen him in. Uh, he's pretty funny. He, I guess, started off pretty late in life uh, being an actor, so... There's not like a whole lot, but I have seen him in, in quite a few episodes of different shows. So, uh, all playing pretty much a funny older dude. So he does that character pretty well. It's not like a shtick of his uh, where he plays like the same guy over and over again, but he actually uh, does the parts very well. He does play other types of parts, not just like the funny old guy. So in this one, yes, he was the funny old guy, and I mean, some of the, the jokes you could see a mile away, uh, but that's kind of the point of All in the Family. Most of the stuff is kind of dated, but that's kind of the point. It was one of the more original back in the day, so I give it that. Uh, so his character is trying to find a new home. We have some uh, political talking points, very light political talking points about the economy, uh, the retirement age, the retirement uh, pay, and all of that kind of stuff, which is, again, kind of familiar to today, where we have politicians who are saying, oh yeah, I would raise or lower the age of retirement, and you know, the benefits, the percentages, and all this stuff, you know, different different things. If you keep up with the mainstream media, you're going to hear some stuff. So it's pretty interesting that this show is kind of a original rerun of what's going on right now. Yeah, it's kind of funny how every 20, 30 years, things just kind of circle back into itself. So it's uh, pretty interesting that we still, again have some of the same issues that we did back then. Nowadays, just different people doing it. They were talking about how the price of loaf of bread went up like 10 cents, how older people can't live on retirement in, you know, above the poor median. Uh, you're basically poor if you're retired, you're like you're below p poverty rate if you're retired type stuff. And it was pretty interesting to see that. I know that we are talking about uh, nowadays raising or lowering the retirement rate. Some people want to raise it to like 70 and I'm like, yeah, some people die at 70. Not like everybody, but like not really pushing it at 70, but man, I wouldn't want to be 70 when I retire. I want to be about 60, 65, you know? They don't talk about things like, you know, investing or Roth IRAs or anything like that, but those are good things to try and get into before you retire, just so you have a little bit more of a nest egg and, of course, savings, because the retirement thing may not be a thing at all if there's no money to go around, because the generations haven't been having a lot of children, and there needs to be someone to pay for the older generation 
and that's kind of how retirement works is the taxes of the younger pay for the older even though those people paid in but that money went to the people before them it's a bad system i would say hey there should be a retirement plan there's more of a retirement savings where you can talk to your bank and say hey i want to put x amount a month away for my retirement that I cannot touch until I am 60 or 65, that would be a better thing. Take it away from the government to do it because uh, then one, you get less taxes and two, you pretty much get a guarantee as long as your bank stays around that you'll have your retirement money. So all in all, an interesting episode, interesting topics, but uh, it's pretty interesting. The, the the whole concept of, you know, they, they have this old guy there and then, you know, they go into the, the politics of the thing. It was a good transition and, and a good uh, segue into from one thing into another. So, yes, with that being said, that's pretty much all I have for this episode go away now. Oh wait, no, that's not my show, that's The Critical Drinker. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now. Uh, no, I do want to thank you guys for getting this far in the video, of course. I want to thank all of you who have hit the subscribe -y button. Don't worry about it, you're still in good shape. All you gotta do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. If you haven't already, what are you doing? You've seen this episode, you know what you're gonna get. Hit that subscribe button. And with that, again, I do want to thank all of my subscribers. I do want to thank you guys for getting this far in the video. And we will see you next time. Peace.